And now we uh, come to one of the last steps that we're going to do with our activity to work in progress file. And that is we're going to choose the circle select and come up here to right about where the white and the red meet at the very top corner and go ahead and drag a circle that goes down to just about where the white and the red meet in the bottom corner. Now, if you completely get it wrong, let's say this is completely wrong, you can see here, just put your mouse inside one of the boxes in the corner and you can drag it out and make it like that. Or if you get it completely wrong, one of the things you can do is that as you're dragging, hold down the shift key and when you hold down the shift key, no matter where your mouse goes, it keeps the circle in proportion. Now again, this is very similar to the, to the locking the chain together that we just did a moment ago. And then now, because I clicked and shift at the wrong time, I've now got this off, awesome oval. Um, oh, and now I've completely undone everything. So I'll just control Z back, uh, which by the way, edit undo is control Z. And then I'll try this again. You see uh, the last thing that it remembers me doing now is the undo the scaling. So I had a selection in there that it's now ignoring. So as I drag it, hold down the shift key. Oh, try that again. Oh, still don't like that. Oh, so the shift key does some random things at a time, apparently. Let's try this again. Hold this down. Ah, there we go. This time when I clicked and dragged in the corner, it, it uh, made it proportional before it was doing some random ellipse. And if I don't really like that, I can just move it over. Now you'll see, again, if I click in the center of the circle, I can move my selection area to wherever I want it to go. So right now, I just want to put it so it's in the middle as much as possible. And it was proportional before when I was doing that. Uh, let's just make it a little bit not proportional so it goes just to the edge of the white. It will not be perfect. And what you'll remember is I have two layers here and I want to copy and paste the two layers together. And in order to do this, instead of choosing our regular copy, I'm going to say edit. And in the GIMP, it's called copy visible. If you're using Photoshop elements, it would be called copy merged, which hopefully you can figure out is the same thing. And so now I'm going to paste that into a new document. And the easiest way to do that in the GIMP is instead of saying new, choose the second choice down called create. And then the top choice says from clipboard. So when you copy something, you copy it into the clipboard um, and then you paste it out. And so what it's done now is it's taken our selection. It's flattened it all into one layer and then pasted it onto a transparent background. So this has done maybe two or three moves all in one for us. Very convenient. So that was our work in progress file. Thank you very much, work in progress file. We'll just save you in case we ever need to come back. If there's any problem you have with Amber's face that you need to fix later on that you discover, having this work in progress file to come back to is wonderful because it just makes copying and pasting that this bottom layer in really simple. And now it's time to save this new file. So file save. And again, I'm in my GIMP folder, and I'm going to call this Activity 2. Now, I put a dash in there. If you would like an underscore, that's fine. And I'll just click Save. So this is the good file, and now we're ready to add the text.